Dark Nights Rising, The Wild Hunt. The unexamined life is not worth living. Hurry! I used to know who wrote that. Faster, man, faster! Now I'm trying to remember. Trying to make sense of why I had to remember in the first place. And the yelling in the background. Faster, always faster. There was a song. It was always a song. The chords that day went D and C and D and C. Hmm. What did that mean? Just another pattern I couldn't see or read. What does a poor chimp know about chords and notation? Creep? What's D and C and D and C? I tried to memorize at least, to hurry. How could I know what I couldn't understand? I thought every day would be my last. The cruelest lesson I learned? They wanted me to fail. My limitations comforted them, made them gleeful. There was only ever one out of all of them who was kind. His name was Fred. The rumor was he'd been injured as a young man in battle. His head wasn't right, exactly. They said he heard things. He was kind to me, fed me after they left, tried to help me learn my song. They killed him. But Fred's last decent act in this world was to leave unlocked the cage I'd lived in most of my life. So I did what Fred would have wanted me to. I ran from that awful place. I ran into the night and the endless swamp during a hot tropical storm. I had no idea how big the outside could be. I grew up in a cage with regular meals. But this wide open world of dangers, horrors, wonders. Let him pass. It opened itself up to me. No matter what happened, they could never shut me behind those same bars again. And that's when I knew. My story wasn't anywhere near over. As it turns out, the name of my guide through the Inferno wasn't... Uh, what was his name? Virgil. It was Rex. Don't give up now. But, but you're almost there. Follow me. I'm on my way in search of the fabled Fountain of Youth. And I could use a smart chimpanzee partner. Game? These waters will heal the wounds you took so courageously, brother. You'll live forever, so they say. Of course, we didn't really talk. It was all smells and gestures and sounds, but we understood one another well enough. My injuries disappeared. Pain I'd ignored for years was gone, and something else changed. All at once, like lightning hitting a mirror, I was bright. I saw for the first time how it all fit together, and everywhere I looked there were clues, which led to evidence, which led to the simple meaning of it all. Everywhere, perfect unfolding solutions to insoluble mysteries that had haunted my blunt ape brain for so long. All of it made sense. It could be interrogated, made to give up its secrets and its mysteries like a person, like music unfurling before me. Clues. Evidence. Everywhere, cause and effect. Karma. The dirt I dug up sent all three of Fred's killers to the pen. Two of them were put to death by the state. The third man was gutted like a catfish in the showers. Did I feel bad? No, not at all. What you learn in detection is that all cruelty belies the same sin, a lack of imagination. In other words, anti-music. Ah, I like this tune. <laughs> Hurry, Bobo, dark energy. I know, I'm going as fast as I can. And? We're connected. I think so, Will. Uh, but, 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 uh, I don't understand. Something is happening to me. Finding this frequency. I feel like a dumb ape again. Like devolving. And I can't remember who said the unexamined life is not worth living. Socrates, in his own guileless way, our simian compadre, this immortal, super-evolved repository of every known fact, every scrap of recorded data, this resource we're relying on, is reminding us he may have become somewhat less than reliable of late. Thanks in part to your hard work, Professor Mario, I've made contact through layers of multiversal feedback with the Flash and the others. From my calculations, while escaping the Dark Multiverse, the Challengers of the Unknown used Red Tornado's wind harmonics as a guide to the House of Heroes before returning to Earth. That frequency is the same one our allies are riding now. We've accessed it from Earth via Tornado, plus the Metal Men. On board the Monitor shift ship Ultima Thule, en route to the heart of the multiverse. And yes, Socrates, thank you. 
Socrates is the least of our worries. My immediate concerns involve the immutable laws of physics. It's imperative I borrow Dr. Magnus for a moment. Follow me, Will. Look, the chimp's losing it. The bigger the words he throws around, the lower burns his intellect. I fear our misguided attempts to save the day are in vain. I was boiling an egg, William. That's when I knew something was oh so terribly wrong with everything. I called the others in this way. Tom, are you serious about this? My dear Savannah, I am a checker, triple checker. God forbid I'd waste anyone's precious time on the eve of an impending cosmic apocalypse. Checked what? What am I looking for apart from... Oh, that's impossible. The boiling point of water is now 106 degrees. Yes, whatever has happened, it's causing the laws of physics to fall like dominoes. That can't be good. You still want this egg? I wasn't sure if it was a demonstration or actual breakfast. Not now, William. It's hard boiled. The damned thing's. Ro <laughs> Hear that? This Black Hawk Island won't defend itself when the sky falls in. We're at the last stand of science and discovery. The only question, doctors, is whether we will be heroes or villains. Calling Cyborg, Flash. Are you still there? May is that you? Come in. You need to find the House of Heroes. You're our last hope. Come in. Mayday. Mayday. Everything everywhere is going to die. Flash calling the House of Heroes. S-O-S. -S. That should get someone's attention. I'm concerned, Vic. You've been a little abstract. Do you have any idea how much data I'm trying to parallel process at extremely high speeds, Flash? It's not something I have to deal with every day. I have a mother box for a heart from New Genesis. I'm part of a constantly upgrading super AI wired into a living machine that runs on music. Vic? Okay, I get it. First world superhero props. I'll keep working on the memory. You go see if Raven has made friends with this thing. Raven, how's it, uh... Vessels, living music, em empathic drive. It's confused, uh, afraid. Everything's out of tune. Trying, but it relies on the song. Lines to be pure. But the musica universalis breaking down into noise and feedback. Uh, incoherent. Fifty-two universes make up all the multiverse, all occupying the same space at the same time, separated only by frequency, vibration. So the house of heroes we're looking for is right here. All we have to do is tune in. I can't find it, damn it. The awesome man is lost, guided by instinct, trying to return to Uodin, the super judge, the last of the monitors, protector of the multiverse. See now, he sounds like the guy. I don't think you need to experience the ship's pain any longer, Raven. These controls were designed for creatures who could alter their scale and pitch at will to travel through the multiverse. I could do that. In fact, I'd love to see if I could do that. Too late, Flash. Something... Something is bearing down on us through the noise. Enormous discord... Faster than thought. The wild hunt is on us. <laughs> Look at them. They thought they were free. They thought they could just whistle a tune and the cosmos would give them a ride to Valhalla. <laughs> the ultimate Thule is ducking and weaving our blasts. The songship's tune is weak. The carrier's drumbeat carries a darker authority. Let's make them hear it, knights. <laughs> Arm the warheads. More speed. Don't beg for mercy. I have none. Faster. The carrier is powered by... You ready for this? A caged baby universe. That's monitor-scale nanotech. They can track and follow us anywhere. <sighs> They're finally getting it. Ram them out of the bleed. Run them aground. Our master screams. And the multiverse recoils in terror. Let's show them precisely what that means. <laughs> and hold that channel open, murder machine. I want to see the last glint of hope fade from their eyes. You can hear it, can't you? The scream of a universe in agony, echoing soft and distorted through the bleed. 
as if through water. I hear the slightest tenor of my father, Martin, his final scream in the alley. You must too, Don Breaker. M- Martha, it was Martha for us. What I hear is the sound of mutiny in your voice, Miss Wayne. Be careful, or I'll crush it out of you. We're all variations on the same theme, Devastator. You know exactly how I would kill you if the need arose, just as I know how each of you would try to kill me. Save for the one who laughs, everything he's made us do, all on the promise of a world where we can be heroes again. Do any of you feel like heroes at the moment? I don't think he'd like you saying that. Of course he would. It proves he has power over us. He makes the lot of us cowardly and superstitious. I am no coward, Red Death. I have sacrificed every part of myself to save my world, my people. Barbados has given me a path to get them back. I would burn the multiverse to the ground if that's what it would take. <laughs> Good. That's pretty much the idea. Now, I'd hold on to something if I were you. All these worlds, diseased, infected. If we fail, it's disaster on an unspeakable scale, Flash. I think I have an idea. That baby universe is rich with cosmic potential, pulled straight from the World Forge. If we can free it, it'll stop the carrier in its tracks. And all that positive energy might set the multiverse back on the right track. Prepare to board. Door! They're here. The Dark Knights. You can do what needs to be done faster than any of us, Flash. Agreed. Door. Incoming. Raven. Interference. Tech Empathic Link. Engage. You, the Goth. With darkest black I choke the light. No brightest day escapes my sight. Initiating blackout. My dad's a demon. That doesn't make me a goth. I like all kinds of music. So make your darkest constructs, little Bruce. You don't scare a daughter of hell. There. Teleport all you want, Rachel. Soon you'll run out of places to hide. <gasps> Not hiding. Just buying enough time. What did she... She's taken control of your constructs, you moron. Release the hounds. Vic, I did it. I'm in the carrier. How soon before Red Death's on my tail? Should be fun. I killed one just like you. Took his technology. Put it to use. Busy here, Flash. That was before I was plugged into the multiverse. Uh, system overload. Backup purge. Get away from me. Mom. Dad, I made you. What else can you do, little girl? You think you're stronger than me? I don't have to be stronger. I only have to be one step ahead. Door. Uh, Flash, tell us you found it. Baby Universe dead ahead. I mean, not dead, but just hurry. I see you too. Merciless, right? Big, tough, slow? Worked out well for the dinosaurs. Anyway, that thing you didn't want me to do to the gravitational suppressor gates? What did you? You blinked. You fool. Do you realize the energy it takes to hold a universe in infancy? What will happen when it's unleashed? Of course I do. I'm a superhero scientist. Not so fast. Red Death. Predictably late. <laughs> my. My God. What's happened to me? You just got hit by the pure positive energy of creation. It just shifted your polarity. Reversed you. Barry. I'm Barry Allen. Bruce. He's gone. Oh, God. The screaming rage. Bruce is insane. All of them. Insane. How do I fix this? We're standing at the end of infinity doing our best to prove that it still means something to be a hero. We can start right here in this room. Let's see what flashbacks sound like in stereo. The Ultima Thule is hit. Raven, look out! I don't need my ring for you. Come on, we need to get back to the Thule. We slowed them down, we get- No, 
They'll just capture the universe again. Turn it dark. Someone has to stay. Keep it expanding until it's too big to recapture. We're too in tune with the multiverse to be near that kind of energy. You'll die, Barry. The carrier's charged with the energy of the dark multiverse. It's scarring every world it touches, pooling goodness into horror. When the world orrery falls, every Batman in the multiverse will join their ranks. The infection will spread. There will be no more heroes. It has to be this way. I'll take my time with you. You'll spend eternity screaming in the void alone. The carrier is compromised. We must return before it's too late. Door! She's not alone. Raven? Door! You! There's always a sacrifice, Flash. Go. Go, Barry! Door! I don't understand. I thought we were winning. The music's just noise. I can't. They did something to us. The Thule's not responsive. Red Death. Well done, traitor. <laughs> you two played your part. You gave them one last taste of hope. <laughs> you realize, of course, I expected this weakness from you. You were only ever really half a Batman, so you only knew half the plan. You can feel what it's like to be a being of the darkness charged with positive energy. How it's ripping you to shreds. Every missile lobbed at the Ultima Thule carried a baby universe handpicked by Barbados. Dark baby universes. <laughs> you realize what this means, of course. I, I have a reading. We're still on course. There's still hope. We did it. We're nearly there. House of... Triumph. We should, uh, still not sure that. Uh, out of your way, Simeon. Human science has prevailed. Math and reason. And yet, the detective in me knew. It was all too perfect. Like something rehearsed. Or memorized. To find truth. Real truth. You have to let go. Improvise. Be fluid. A universe expands. Music explores. But the path the Thule was following, charted to the dark from this island, was based on plans made long ago. Hort, it was safe, mapped. Cyborg was playing old notes. My mind, it was going, but I uh, had to know. What are you doing, you fool? Red Tornado will destroy the whole... No, the door. You opened the door. Deactivate, son. No, you opened the door for the dark. You, do, you don't understand. The door. Speak. It's me, your creator. The challengers. We were headed on the divine frequency to the house of heroes. But we opened the door to Barbados, to the dark. We were poisoned, aimed at the heart of hope. We turned back. We came home, closed the door as fast as we could. Oh, God. Evil exists. We underestimated the power, the scale and reach of our adversary. We carried it, her, her home with us. They planned to eject a fatal dodge into the heart of the multiverse and watch it die. But the House of Heroes, a trap. We've all been used. They've been herded. The first sign that the end has arrived will be a word. A final plea that goes unanswered. I will be awakened to witness it. One single word. Help. Please, can somebody help me? Whatever happened to me at, at Fountain. Unhappening. Everything wrong. My mind. Broken connections. Everything. Who, 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 who. The word is delivered. All things must be concluded in terror. I'm grateful you gave me an off switch for fear, Professor. Somebody warned them, calling Flash. S.O.S. Red Death, no, Barry did it. They can't follow us now. Full speed ahead to... The House of Heroes. Flash, the carrier's foreheads. We can't stop. We can't turn around. We're a poisoned dart fired straight at the heart of everything. They wanted this. They weren't hunting us. They were aiming us. We need a miracle now. 
Guys, I'm getting a response to your Mayday Flash, but it's too late. We should go call a door and miss the crescendo. Not yet. <laughs> Laughs. We need to get out of the way of that blast. I said, not yet. Bring him to me. Here he is. We have moments before him. <laughs> Only the most powerful being in the multiverse, perhaps. On its knees. At my feet. <laughs> the ultimate Thule is receiving a signal. A message. From Universe 53. But there is no 53rd universe. Spread your vast and midnight wings, Bat God Barbatos. I am the Wayne in the wagon. Behold the multiverse. <laughs> in brightest day. Look. I said look. <laughs> or I'll pull your cosmic eyelids off. A hundred trillion hopes and dreams. A hundred trillion futures. <laughs> Over faster than you can say. Door. Something really bad just happened. This is it. You can feel it coming. I don't know about everyone else. I just want to hug someone right now. Dream on. The end of everything. Too big. Too big. <laughs> All of you reprobates and geniuses. It's been a pleasure. Oh, shut up, Tom. It's been hideous. And we failed, as usual. Please. <laughs> my, my mind... What happening to me? <laughs> Bobo, Bobo, hear me. What? Where? In your mind, Bobo. It's us. Stubbs? What? What happened? Where is this? We super chimps. Gotta stick together to the end, I say. DC. You wondered what it meant. But think about it, Bobo. Brother. Detective Chimp. We've watched your life. Immortality has its rewards. We got this fixed back in 2067. The 53rd world is here to help. So, ready to save the universe, Bobo? <laughs> <laughs>